I'm Johnny Lee. Um, I'm a radiotherapy physicist at Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. In the same way as a pharmacist's job is to make sure that the patient receives the right amount of a drug, our job is to make sure that the patient receives the right amount of radiation. So having done the work experience and really thought this is something I can see myself doing, there's a good mix of routine work and project work. Not every day is a Eureka day, but um, I think one of the things about medical physics is that you get to use your science and academic skills in order to benefit patients. There are elements of it where you've had a good day and you've got a good result at the end of it and that means that someone's cancer is either cured or that they're in less pain than they were at the beginning of the day and you can kind of take that home with you as a solid result. I'm Christine Denby, I work as a medical physicist specialising in medical imaging. Well, my particular job is quite varied really, so I do some magnetic resonance imaging or MRI and do some research work mainly into neuroscience and I also do some physiological measurement as well which ties in and I do some lecturing and teaching as well. I've always been interested in how the brain works and the images you get. As soon as the first time I saw an MR image of a brain I thought I have to do this for a job, it was so interesting. And then really got interested in the machines. I thought, so how do you get these pictures? What happens? Really enjoy the technological side of it. There's lots of interesting developments. The training is tough, but it's very enjoyable. The rewards you get back are substantial. Uh, with regards to MR, it's a giant magnet and a, a tube really. So we use magnetic field to get very high quality pictures of the brain so it looks very anatomical. There's always something new to get your teeth into. It's never stagnant at all, MRI. And you get to work with lots of different people from engineers, from electronic engineers, up to surgeons and a lot of the clinical staff. I'm Mariana and I work here as a lecturer as a graduate physicist. It's my first job so I just got out of uni. I like to do a cancer care company and I work in the oncology business area. I was, I was also always afraid of the fact that I will end up in a job that I will be bored after a year or two. Here at Electa and studying physics in general um, made me realize that I would never get bored of it because you still you learn new things every day. When I was doing my master's projects I spent six months in the hospital and I absolutely loved it. It was a great experience. Eventually, although I would I really liked interacting with patients and it felt more human oriented. I felt that working in industry would be better for me because it would be a more challenging job. So whenever Electa develops a new product, we have to test it before we actually sell it. You work as part of a team with people from your area, from your group, from physics in my case, but you always have to interact with people from electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, designers. My name is Kirsty Lee and I work in nuclear medicine as a clinical technologist. It involves seeing a patient on a day-to-day -day basis and conducting a diagnostic test on them. So that can involve things like them arriving for a bone scan or maybe a heart scan um, and them having a radioactive administration in order for us to take the pictures. We've, we've got both areas to work in, both the science part and also the patient side. So I did A-level, a lot of different A-levels and didn't really know what I wanted to do at all and then applied to, for a training scheme at my local hospital um, in nuclear medicine for, and I did that for four years. So we see lots of cancer patients to look for spread of cancer in various ways. We also see a lot of orthopaedic patients to do with maybe replacements, hips, knees, brain patients, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease. The list is endless really. Uh, you need to have good communication skills. Um, there is a lot of lack of understanding about radiation. So one of the main barriers to us being able to do our job is that patients don't understand that their test involves having radiation. We all get on very well as a team and we all really enjoy, there's a lot of work banter like anywhere else that you'll work. For, for my job, no two days are the same at all. And it's a good career if you want to have a very clear patient focus but with an added aspect of some science behind it as well. I think it's a good choice if you're interested in physics or engineering. 
because you, there are so many things you can do. It's not for everyone, but I've, I've yet to find anyone who started it and not enjoyed it.